Hi guys, it's your girl Chatty Patty and I'm back and I'm going to be bringing you a long-awaited favorites video and this is just some beauty favorites that I have so far. I'm not really doing it by month but just as I start to gather more beauty products that I like, I just want to go ahead and feature them on some of my videos. So here's one of the first ones that I will feature for the year and um, most of the products are brushes actually. Um, I really haven't had time to do a lot of makeup looks because I've been working a lot. But when I do find the time, I've really been going into some of the piles of makeup and, and, and items that I have and just trying to use them instead of having them just sit around and collecting dust. So I've noticed some of the items that I have here are um, brushes. And I'm just going to go ahead and quickly go through some of my favorite brushes that I've been using so far. And I'm going to go by brand. And I guess I will start off with these mark brushes and I really I bought this one this all over eyeshadow brush that they had some really good reviews on and I decided to purchase this and I really love this brush when you pack on um, eyeshadows on your lid itself you can also do it on your um, brow bone but I really prefer it on my lid and this brush is super soft I've used this a couple of times I've washed it none of the bristles have fallen off and it's very sturdy and the brush is very, this dome um, brush is very, um, uh, what can I say? Not, I mean, it's soft, but it's sturdy that you can be able to pack on eyeshadow very well. So I really love this brush. The other mark brush is this foundation brush. And I don't really use foundation brushes, but I've been happy. I've happened to use this brush um, just recently um, with a product that I've been trying out. And I really love the application of this brush. My problem with previous foundation brushes is that it leaves those little streaky lines all over your face. But with this one, it doesn't do that. It, it basically blends it into your skin while kind of like patting it and, and getting all into the, your pores and stuff. It really gets in deep into your skin. And I love it. It's very soft. Very, very soft. And... Um, it goes a long way. These brushes are very affordable. I think about $7, I believe. Um, so um, if you are into brushes and looking for some new brushes, try these out. Okay, these brushes that I purchased were from Kmart. It's The brand is Image Essentials. And I purchased this a couple of weeks ago. And when I tell you, I am so in love with these brushes. It comes in a set of three. There's another brush that I haven't tried out yet, so I didn't want to add it into this video. But I've been using these brushes here. It comes in a set of three brushes, and as you can see, they're double-headed brushes. And the set is about $9 I paid for at Target. They have this um, blending um, crease brush right here, and this blends so well. If you cannot afford the, um, the MAC 224 brush, you can see it is kind of like a dupe for it. Not so much because the MAC brush is a bit taller, as you can see, a bit um, lighter. This one is a very stiff um, crease brush, and this works so well. I've been using this like crazy, and I love it. I did not use this side. This is like a um, smudge brush, I guess, for under your eye. I don't really use things like this, so um, it's not part of my favorites. But um, this one is an angled um an angled brush here. I usually use this to pack on color onto my crease. So I usually dip this into the eyeshadow, pack it onto my crease, and then I would use this part of the brush to just blend out the color. So that angled brush, and this is a dome brush, which is very similar to the MAC, I'm sorry, the MARC brush I just showed you, as you can see here. This is very, very similar to the Mark brush. This is the Mark. This is the um, Image Essentials brush. And as I said before, this comes in a set of three brushes, double-headed on each side, and $9. You can't beat that. You'll find this at Target. Another item I've loved, I've had this since last year, I believe, is this NYX Super Fat Marker Eye Marker. If you do not know how to do a um, winged out look, I suggest, I highly, highly suggest you get this. This has enabled me to really perfect a, um, a, a, a winged look. I'm sorry. And it's like a marker. Um, you just basically glide this onto your skin. And as you can see, you get nice, precise lines. 
and it lasts very long. You don't need to put a, another coat or anything on top of it. This really lasts long. And when it's time to take it off, you can use any kind of makeup remover and it comes off very easily. I really love this. If you are a beginner and you want to practice getting a winged look, I suggest you get this. I actually got this on Hot Look when they had a NYX sell um, a couple of months ago. And so I purchased this and I will highly rec rem I'm sorry, highly recommend this to anyone. Another item that I love um, in the brush family is this Essence of Beauty blush brush. I actually use this to contour and I really love um, using this because it's very soft and it really gets into that area that you need to contour on your cheeks. And what I use to contour my cheeks is this e.l.f. Contouring Blush and Bronzing Powder. I may have mentioned this in a previous favorites before, but I'm going to mention it again. I've been using it a lot lately. I use, the br of course, the brown part to contour the cheeks. I use the blush and just a little bit on um, my cheekbones, and this is very affordable. I forgot which brand has a similar one to this. I think it's Makeup Forever or NARS. Don't, don't, um, I don't remember, but it's one of them that have a sim, very similar to this, which of course cost an arm and a leg. I believe this was no more than five dollars, and well worth it. So if you're looking for something affordable to to do some contouring on your cheeks and stuff, I suggest you get this Elf product. Another product I've been using like crazy is this Milani Easy Liner for lips, and it's in nude. And what I love about this is that I basically apply this onto my lips anytime I'm using any kind of nude shade lipstick. Apply any kind of nude lipstick on it, and it will, it basically doesn't make you look weird you know some nude lipsticks make you look like flushed out this adds color onto your lips so any lipstick you apply it will add a bit of color underneath it so that's what i love about milani you know milani it's one of my favorite brands and um i really love this lip pencil very very great product my favorite ultimate favorite milani product right now and i swear by it and i use it all the time even when i don't even put on makeup but just to make my brows look neat and nice is this Milani Easy Brow, um, you get the um, spoolie and you get the, the brow pencil, well, right there on the other side. I use this all the time. I use this, I first what I would basically do is to brush out my brows and then I gently add the, um, the eyebrow pencil onto my brows and um, I would like to do a video on it. I'm not perfect with eyebrows, but... I'm really loving how my eyebrows are looking lately and I have all this to thank for and it's the Milani um, you see the spoolie and the brow pencil on the other end very affordable you know Milani products go out and get it another brush that I've been loving lately is this crown brush and I actually got this as a traveling set um, when hot look had a sale on crown brushes I actually use this on this look that I have and sorry about the lighting I'm actually filming this video at night I use this to create my winged out look this brush is divine and if I can go ahead and show you I recently bought the Mac 266 brush and don't get me wrong it works nice but I wish I had tried this brush out first before I made this purchase because honestly the crown brush beats it by far this crown brush gives that nice, precise line at the edge, a sharp line that you can get when you want to do that winged out look. It gives you that without making it look um, smudgy or anything like that. It's a very precise line that you get. And um, I have a bit of just um, gel liner from the brush, but it's dried out now. But this brush... I am extremely impressed by it. Um, sorry again if you can't see this well, but I'm filming this at night. But I did the winged out look, and I have, and I did it with this brush. Um, this beats out the um, what's the brush from Target? I forgot the brand, the one that I love all the time. Um, Sonia Kashuk, that's it. It beats out Sonia Kashuk brush, and I did not think I would find one that's better than that, but. This crown brush does, and I'm so pissed that I only got the traveling size. Even with the traveling size, I was able to get a very great line, um, very great angle on my um, line, I mean, on my eyes. 
but I would like to go ahead and invest in the regular size brushes. So I'm looking forward to doing that, but this is divine. Next product I am loving is this blush from Sasha Cosmetics. And if you live in Trinidad, you would know this. This is one of their brands that they have, very popular brand. Um, I actually got this from my cousin. Um, she had this in her collection. Um, while I was in Trinidad, I tried it out and I loved it. And um, I asked for it and she gave it to me. It is like, oh, how can I say, like a nice cherry red. Like a, a, uh, It just has a very rich color to it. And it's unlike any blush that I have in my collection. And I really, really like it. So um, I decided to get it. And the thing is, this just a tap of this goes a very long way. You don't want to overdo it to make you look like a clown. But this is so good. Anyone that's, even when you're dark complexion, this looks even better on dark-skinned women. I'm telling you, if you live in Trinidad or you live in the Caribbean and they have Sasha Cosmetics, get this color. Um, unfortunately, I don't see, okay, I think it, the, the color is claret. I could be wrong, but I love this blush. Next item, this NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. If you follow me on Twitter, I tweeted about this a couple of weeks ago. I actually have this on my lips right now. MAC came out with something similar like this. I don't know what collection because I don't follow their collections, nor do I buy their stuff often. But this is like a lip cream. It's not like a lip gloss that's like liquidy and, you know, shiny. This gives a very matte finish onto your lips and it's very soft and smooth. It's like a lipstick lip gloss combined in one. If you can see it, it's right there. Um, of course, you can't see this lighting. is so horrible. I have this on my lips right now. I am in love with this product. It's not even funny. Like, I want to get every shade possible. This is very affordable. You know NYX products are always affordable. This is so worth it. My lips do not feel dry, cracked, irritated, nothing of that sort. Love it, love it, love it. Next product is this NYX uh, Mega Shine Gloss. I actually tap just a little bit on my lip. Um, just basically in the center to give it a bit of a shine, just a little bit. Um, this lip gloss, I walk with it everywhere. I wear it all day, every day. Um, I barely wear my EOS lip balm. When I get the chance to, I put it on. But other than that, I'm wearing the NYX Mega Shine Lip Gloss. Love this product. Next one is Wet n Wild. Um, these Wet n Wild palettes here. Um, I just brought out one of them. This is the one that I'm actually wearing on my eye. Again, sorry for the bad lighting. I will try to upload the picture that I took um, using this eyeshadow. Wet n Wild is so affordable and it's just like, it's so hard to believe it's so affordable and their eyeshadows are so pigmented that, I mean, they got, they come out with great shades. These are, if you're a beginner with makeup and you want to just try and just do things, I suggest going to your nearest Walgreens, getting a set of these. It will be worth every cent. They are very affordable. I think this palette is maybe three, four dollars. I could be wrong. Don't remember. But um, I'm wearing this right now. I really love every shade that they come out with. Um, it's just, it, it's a must-have. Must-have for any woman, whether you are a makeup artist, whether you are a beginner. It doesn't matter. This is just a great brand. So it's still my favorite. Last product is my Maybelline The Falsies Volume Express. I stopped using this mascara for a minute, and then I started back using it again um, recently. I just... It's like I started using it thinking I would find other mascaras better, but I always come back to this and I just, I'm addicted. I'm just in love with this mascara. It lengthens, it curls, it just may, it really makes my lashes look false. Um, I'm not in the need of wearing false lashes because I love how my lashes look when I apply this coat. And I only need one coat of this onto my lashes and I just get a great look. Upper, bottom lashes, perfect. I just love this product. So... Those were my beauty favorites that I have for 2011 so far. Um, not sure when I'll do another one. I guess when I get some more beauty products that I've tested out and everything, I will go ahead and do that. I've also recently purchased some new beauty products that I will either write a review on, do a video on it. So look out for that. Again, um, I'm sorry for the long um, absence on YouTube. I've been out of the country and I've been very busy. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't done so, please subscribe to my channel and look out for more interesting, exciting, beautiful videos of yours truly, the real Chatty Patty. So thank you for your continued support and see you again soon. Bye.